Go all right. Out of the hey, you ready, everybody? Yes, we're all ready. All right, here we go. Hey. Here we go. You say when, Susan? We're on. We're on? You've been on. Okay. <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome to Sunday live streaming from Tortoise Land. Okay? But guess what? If you look around, you're going to see we're not at Tortoise Land, right? We're not in Kansas anymore. Okay? <laughs> we're out at the park across the street from Tortoise Land. Okay? So it's a very special day. Look at all these people. We got so many volunteers. The neighbors, right? Hi, Kevin. All our neighbors, Hi, hey, right? Hi. Okay, they all agreed to come out and help or they got recruited and didn't know, right? <laughs> so what I wanted to do and what's really important is that the tortoises get out of tortoise land, right? If you have tortoises and even if you have a big yard, you know, they still need to get out, right? Just like you and me, you get bored, right? Or the same place. So when we have help, we get to bring the tortoises over here. There's 36 tortoises at Tortoise Land right now, okay? And so we could only bring this many, but we rotate and we bring the tortoises out as we have volunteers, okay? And uh, we got kids here, everything. So I want to introduce you. Hey, over here, Diane. Yep. Come on over, Susan. So you all, no Diane if you've been watching the videos, right? Yay! Yay. 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 This, this woman <laughs> volunteered at the LA Zoo for 25 years while working full time. Yay, she loves wow. animals, she loves dogs. Dogs are a big thing here. And look, when you got your tortoises out, like in a place like this, in a park, you gotta be careful with the dogs, right? Because you never know, uh, a dog could be aggressive, right? And so you wanna keep, you wanna have volunteers, you wanna have help. Okay, so that just right, in case the dogs are unleashed and they stay away from the tortoises, okay? Eileen says, hi, Diane. Eileen! Am I, oh, no way! And Marie, Marie, <laughs> Marie, and Marie, Marie, Marie says hi, gang. Oh, who does? Marie. Marie. Marie's from England, everybody. And she's been a huge fan, a huge supporter. Okay, so Diane, I can't thank her enough. If you watch the videos. Okay, let's get going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so what I want to do first is introduce you to some of the tortoises. You may know some. Okay, this morning at 8.30, uh, we dropped the new video. Shelly, part three. Shelly's become aggressive. Now come and take a look, okay? As you know, we rescued Shelly from the East Valley Animal Shelter three months ago, right? It's got on this I know, you, you, yeah, you can come and you can pet his shell if you want, okay? All tortoises are known carriers of salmonella. So we have here, we have here hand sanitizer, we have all those things. Because after touching, right, even mom's right here, to make sure that, that uh, kids don't touch their face, they don't touch stuff, okay? So you just want to be very gentle with them. Now here's the funny thing. If you check out the playlist for Shelly and the video that dropped this morning at 8.30, Shelly becomes aggressive. Take a look right now. You would not see it. this the tortoise is aggressive, right? When I got him from the animal shelter, this is the way Shelly was. And Diane, you remember? This guy for three weeks did nothing, you know? He stayed he stayed uh, isolated because we had to keep him isolated, not knowing if he has any illnesses, okay? And then what happened? It got warm out, three weeks passed, and he is pretty darn aggressive, okay? You wouldn't know it right now, but I'm thrilled that we get him outside for the first time, okay? And you can see right now, he's not gonna go anywhere, but I guarantee you in a little while, he will. And who's this we got, Suzanne? Bean. Okay, so you all, kids and everybody, so these guys, these are called African sultanas. Let me take a breath. Thanks for watching everybody and thanks for being here. So these guys, some of these tortoises here, the big ones, they're called African sultanas. They're the third largest species in the world, <laughs> right? So we got Shelly, we got Lumpy over there, world famous. And, and, and Susan, you can feel free to go in close up with them if you want, okay? And so here's something really cool. See this guy? This is Bean, and Bean is three and a half years old. Bean should be the size of like, you know, the other tortoises digger. So her siblings are this big. But Bean was born, uh, you know, genetically, uh, you know, genetically on the bad end of the stick, right? And, and see the raised shell should be smooth like this, right? So this is Bean, Bean's super sweet, right? So when you, when you pat him, you want to go like this, real, real, you want to show them your, show them your fingers. Right? So they don't get scared. Can you see close? See, Bean has an underbite. And for the first year or two, Bean had real trouble eating. 
That's yeah. part of why bean is so little. Okay, but bean now weighs a pound. How about that? We've been taking okay. bean to the vet. Bean should weigh like 30 pounds, okay? Third largest species in the world. Okay, now look what's going on here. So Diane, everybody, we're keeping our eye on beautiful bean, right? And we're gonna go over here. Diane, you got? Everybody, keep your eye on this little guy. Now look who's over here, everybody. Who is this guy? Pretty cool. This is another rescue that came in a few, three months ago. This is a desert tortoise, okay? This is, unfortunately, a lot of these are endangered species. And, and desert tortoises are endangered species, okay? This guy loves to have his head rubbed. You want to rub his head? Watch, go like this. See that? Can you do, oh, he won't hurt you. It's okay. You guys, huh? Yeah, just nice and slow. Again, everybody, we're going to wash our hands, okay? Right? All, all, all tortoises are known carriers of seven up. So you want to, we have supervision as kids, you know? You got to supervise, right? And stuff. They, they generally are never going to hurt you or bite you. All right, and this is a boy, and how do we know? Okay, he's 30 years old. He was raised by a guy that had him and two box toes for 30 years. He didn't even know what species they were, okay? And he fed them romaine lettuce and watermelon their whole lives. And look at, they did, he did pretty good, considering. Here at Torsland, they get a really, a different diet and a, and a really healthy diet, okay? You wanna see a cool thing about how do you determine the sex of a, of a tortoise? You guys, you see this? This is the plastron, right? And you see this indent? Can you guys all see this? Uh -huh. Right? Okay, so this indicates a male because the male generally is gonna have this indent because he wants to mate, when he wants to mate with the female, of course not Shelly, right? His own size, so that he can more safely mate, right? Because one of the biggest things with a tortoise, if a tortoise flips over, like this guy, odds are this down. Odds are they're not going to be able to flip themselves. Some species can, most can't. Okay? So the problem with aggressive tortoise like Shelly, Shelly's so big. Oh, look who's coming. Shy girl. Okay? Shy girl was born in tortoise land six and a half years ago. Right? The hiss. Six and a half. And Shy girl has her own playlist called Shy Girl versus the World. So you guys have a YouTube channel, right? Called the Tortoise Guy. So she gets into trouble. You open the garage door. You open anything. She's in it. She's on it. You know, okay? And she's really cool. She's wonderful. She's not as shy as she used to be. She's still shy. You see that? Two Turtle Tom says hello. Who? Two Turtle Tom. Two Turtle Tom. Awesome. <laughs> it's great to see you. It's great to see you, Chow. Hello from Ohio. Who? He's in Ohio. Ohio. Right. Ohio. Right. Um, thanks, everybody. I want to introduce you to a few more of the tortoises. Now, here's the cool thing. In this park, I know that they don't use pesticide on the lawn, and that's important, right? Because you don't want to put your tortoises somewhere if the lawn's treated with chemicals, right? This is the park I come and I pick all the greens for our little baby Sheldon, okay? And so this is a real treat for them. This is called aggression. You see this? Shelly's wow. getting back. Yeah, you knock he just he just tried he to put bite his him. face so right in what? there. So guess what? So now this guy is isolated from the other tortoises. We adopt tortoises out at Tortoise Land. They come in, we rescue them, right? We rehabilitate them if they're sick. But we also we also, you know, adopt out. Now this is an endangered species, so it's a different process of adoption, okay? All right, this guy's super cool. This is Leo the leopard tortoise. Okay, leopard tortoises are the fourth largest species in the world. This dude is super friendly, you guys. If anybody wants to say hi to him. He's super friendly. He will follow you around like a dog. Yeah, you just go slow. You just go slow, okay? You just go real slow. There you go. Tortoises, just like us, their spine, their spine goes along, along the shell, okay? You just nice and, yeah. He's super, there you go, right? Okay, their, their spine is right here on the shell, and lots of them are actually very ticklish, okay? So, oh yeah, yeah. So you guys are all invited to come to Tortoise Land, everybody here. You have to subscribe and like though before you can come. Not really, right? Uh -huh. But it's great, you know, it's one of the coolest things about being out here in the park. People get to see, right? Oh, hey, people get to see the tortoises, right? And they get to see how cool they are. And you know why that's important, you guys? Because guess what? You kids are the future, right? Because Harlan says KBN. He says what? KBN. Yay! Uh-huh, KBN, right? So, look at them guys walking all around. Look at, so, this is a joy, this is a joy to see. And if you live in LA, 
that we at Toys Event could use volunteers, everybody. Okay? And we also adopt out, like I said. So how do you reach me? The Tortoise Guy Kevin at gmail.com. The Tortoise Guy Kevin at gmail.com. Turtles. Well, look at Shelly. Right? So funny, right? You'd never know. Harlan says hello to everybody. Harlan. Okay, I want to show you guys. You're something. at 10 minutes. Cool. What's your name? Henry. Henry? All right, Henry. So this guy, way cool, right? He's super friendly. Do you want to rub his head? See that? Super friendly. Again, these guys will never hurt you, okay? So he's called the red footed tortoise, and he comes from South America, like from Brazil in the rainforest. So these guys have a different diet. You know what he likes to eat? Snails, bugs, stuff like that, right? In addition to like greens and all that. Okay, now remember I told you about the concave thing about a boy or a girl? First off, look how cool. You're talking 200 million years of evolution. We need someone to wrangle Everybody, that one. That, yeah? Okay. Make so it a run at, for it. Remember I told you the concave thing? So look at how concave. Different species have different levels of concave and some don't at all. And the big tail indicates a boy. Okay. There's four red foots at, at tortoise land. Right, okay. So here we go. Look at very aggressive, right? So I now have look at several, him, right? Okay. So he's not a jerk. He's not a jerk. You know, he's just doing what a lot of tortoises do. Tortoises tend to be solitary creatures, right? They tend to be solitary creatures. And tortoise land. This guy, Lumpy, he's about 16 years old. And why does he look like this, everybody? Let me tell you the story of Lumpy, okay? Here's a, you know what happened with this guy? So tortoises are on the land, right? Turtles are in the water. So I found this dude in a pet store. I was working somewhere like 16 years ago. He was in an aquarium full of water. Yes, thank you, Harlan. What's Harlan. that? Harlan is th appreciating the education you're giving. Oh, cool, right? So this dude was in a, a fish tank. And I told the pet store owner like, hey, that's not a turtle. And guess what? Oh, this is this is Raphael over there and your doggy. This is why. Okay. Yeah. And this is why though you got to keep him on leash and you got to just keep him back. Okay, just a little bit right now because you don't know he could bite, right? Okay, so back to Lumpy. And how are we doing on time? Terrible. Terrible. Wait, wait. Did you hear my sidekick? How are we doing on time, Diane? Terrible. <laughs> Terrible. Let's move it. All right, you're at, gonna, you're you're at 12 and a half minutes. What's that? You're at 12 and a half minutes. Okay, so look, the Lumpy story. It's a miracle Lumpy's alive. Lumpy was in a fish tank of water. And I told the pet store owner it's not a turtle. He said he didn't care. So what, I bought him. I don't generally buy tortoises, but I bought this guy. All right? This is and too funny. Over here, Suzanne. I just I'm want sorry. to finish the story. I'm sorry. It's too funny. Right? Right? Oh, so, yeah. so this guy uh, was soft as a sponge when I picked him up, right? Yep. Right? Oh, and really? He got, oh, yeah. He was a He was in a oh. tank of water. A miracle oh, he was alive. God. So he got several rounds of antibiotics. We take care of the tortoises really well. Max, the big dude, got two MRIs last year. He got a raise $8,000. All right, he's going. <laughs> look, look, look. Going way down there. Right? So anyone want to talk? Does anyone want to say something? Mary, Yeah. let me shut up. What a great experience to see all these different kind of tortoises and how Kevin keeps such good care of them. I love your videos too. Thanks so much. And Yay. thanks for helping Subscribe wrangle. And like, right? Absolutely. Help me help the tortoises, right? Hey, hey what's your experience, Raphael? Let me shut up and you guys talk. Yeah? Oh, I, yeah, I love what Kevin's doing. He has so many and i don't know how he does it because he's he has very limited help so if you want to ever volunteer to come help him that's it's all very guy. appreciated that's right if you live right here in la we need help you know um, um we just got our first official volunteer from a nonprofit organization the other day we need lots of people so i'm so thrilled everybody's here right you guys be you got it you, you just be real careful right because you can never drop them and the thing is that she could pee you? <laughs> because they get scared, right? So generally you want to keep them down on the ground and then you can pet like that, right? She's precious. She's a one pound tortoise that should be 30 pounds, right? And over here, we have some really great neighbors, right? Oh, look who's coming out of the shell a little bit. Oh. Right? This is Hannah. This is Asa. This is Ducky. Right? They're our next door neighbors and we're in the park all the time and Asa comes over to see the tortoises, right? What do you think of the tortoises, Asa? 
They're so cool. Right? They're so cool. <laughs> All right. So listen, I think we're going to wrap it up, right? Okay, yeah. look at Diane. Diane's like, yeah, oh, please do that. Oh, Diane. Everybody, can you come in here for a second if you, if you want. Kevin? Yeah? Let's interview Henry. He just is getting no Oh, Henry, right, please. Anybody that wants to say something. And you guys are all welcome to come visit. It's real important to come because why? Because these guys are, these guys are going to go extinct, I hate to say. So what do you think, Henry? You know, so, so listen, you're the generation that can help. Because global warming, you know, the climate change, you know, these guys, when they lay their eggs, it's so warm now that only female, female tortoises are born. So go ahead and talk, Henry. What do you want to say? Well, I think in terms of kind of the fact that they're like, that they're going to be extinct and stuff, it kind of looks as if they're like, like from the age of the dinosaurs. They are. <laughs> How about even, even, like even older than like the T-Rex and the cool ones like that? 200 million years. How about that? 200 million and here's the coolest thing here's the coolest thing these guys are born there's no mom and dad the mom lays the eggs goes away so when they're born they have to know everything in this brain to survive they got to know how to eat where to eat how to hide you know so it's like they're so important to the earth to the ecosystem and it's up to us now to help them you know okay so it's up to you henry cool Right? Save the tortoises. Boom! There you go, right? Go okay. So everybody, you're welcome to come to Tortoise Land. Okay? Thanks for this very special fun live feed. Right? Diane! My sidekick. I'm hanging up. Oh, yeah. uh, wait, 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 we gotta Make say. sure to subscribe. Hey. Hey, there you wait. go. What's the name of the show, everybody? You wanna subscribe and like? You know what the name of the show is? No, I have no idea. I ask her every time. <laughs> no idea. Yeah, okay, it's no. called and we sing it because it's a song. It's the tortoise guy, right? Okay, Henry. So thanks for watching. Next Sunday live streaming, we got a big surprise too. And the video that just dropped at 8:30 next week, Amy Aquino, famous uh, actress, it came to Tortoise Land. Okay, right. she's funny as can be, and she loves the tortoises. So check it out, right? I'm hanging up. Subscribe and like. Let's save the tortoises. Yeah. Cool, dude.